Okay, now that that's over with, let's do stage two. I think there's about uh, five stages, I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. Four per each level, maybe. I think that's going to be the uh, equation they're going to go with. Gotta say, though, this level looks kind of interesting so far. I mean, it starts out with ninja, so... <laughs> We already know this is going to be somewhat interesting. I need to really kind of research the powers of Ninja. I mean, I know I could do that now just by looking at the uh, screen and whatnot, but like... I'm in the middle of playing a game. I'm recording. I don't want to... Like, that's something I want to do on like my own time, I feel like. Also, screw that guy. That guy's annoying for some reason. I'm also about to die. What's up with that? Give me that ice cream, because I need health. Boom. Go away. Let's remove this block. Oh, wow, those are huge stars. There's, en there's enemies under there, which is making me extremely paranoid. Makes me think that there was something there. Maybe a warning that I was going to get hit by a giant bomb. That would be nice to have, I think. Boom. Ah, don't hit me with the bomb. Don't fall off a cliff while I'm holding the bomb, because I can't hover. Lots of things we need to look out for. Oh, speaking of bombs, here's a bomb. I got I got a bomb for you. I don't know if I'll actually get this or not. Oh, I got it. Whee! Hooray. Oh, yeah, there was something there. Oh, God. Ah. Uh, oh, how'd I squeeze through there? Okay, then. Uh... Oh, shoot. That's what I have to do. Let me be really careful about this. Oh my god. How the hell am I supposed to do this? Oh, I know. I know. I'm stupid. We. There we go. That's the thing. Some of those switches work differently than you, what you'd think. So you gotta use them in kind of different ways, which is kind of interesting. It does make the gameplay a bit different than what it has been in the past, I guess. I'm still about to die, by the way. <laughs> I could really use some health right about now. Um, watch. Okay, no. I'm curious, though. Let me go ahead and let these fools out. They're fine. They were harmless. You could have let them out. Okay, so let's see. Oh, let me get the ice cream first. Thank God. Grab some more food. And look, you can even let these guys out if you want. Why would you do that? Who cares? You have bombs. Okay, so let's try this one. Oh, well. This guy, this guy with the metal hat... And those guys, too. No, don't grab on. I just want to... Yeah, that's what I want to do. All I wanted was a sandwich. That's all I wanted. I'm really curious about these. Like, I know that there's enemies here, but like... There could be 
other stuff. Like, I don't want to miss an energy sphere. Although, to be fair, I think if there is an energy sphere, it probably would have showed us. Honestly, so... Maybe I am just being paranoid again. This could be a Spear Doomer level 2, so... There's probably not a lot of power-ups from here to the end. Or not power-ups, but you know what I meant. Hi, Moundo! I don't know if... I almost said nice to see you again, but that's very debatable because your name is Moundo. Oh, there was a little... There was a thing up there. I couldn't, couldn't really move. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Bomb because if they give me Moundo, chances are I need to use Moundo for something. As much as that kills me inside. Okay, this looks... Yeah, this looks like a very common... This was a puzzle that was in Kirby's Superstar, basically. Where one of the switches was a fake. So let's uh, get rid of those blocks, get this energy sphere. And just for fun, we'll see what exactly this switch did. Yep, see, it put a... It put a little, uh... Guard against that thing, so... Oh, no, I lost Moundo. Or, or Stone, not Moundo. Is it... The power-up's not called Moundo, Slim. It's not called Moundo. Oh, and here we have, uh, Mr. Flare Beam. Yay. This is kind of an interesting way to use this. Kind of using it as a way to like turn on switches, that's kind of cool. Mm. Ouch! Jerkwad? What did I ever do to you? Yeah, just ex just explode. No one cares about you anyway, frickin' Scarfy. The game's called Legendary Starfy, not Scarfy. Okay. Let's get some food so I can heal up. Am I supposed to go down there? Probably. Okay. Oh boy, look at this. Points for style. That is pretty cool. And sure enough, that's where our portal is. Gotta say, I'm enjoying the fifth world a lot more than I was enjoying the third and fourth worlds of the game. I think it's just because, like, you deal with two, like, very unwanted video game mechanics in, like, two straight worlds. You have water, which... You know, not many people are really too fans of water mechanics in platforming games. Then you have ice mechanics, which honestly just as bad, if not worse. Kind of depends on the game, I guess. But it's... but yeah, also remember that you can use uh, these to kind of push back the purple wave if you need to. Ugh. Oh, man. Well, that works anyway. That wasn't too bad, I guess. Also, my god, the sun is, like, right in my eyes right now, which is not fun. Uh, let's try Moundo. And yes, I'm gonna keep calling it Moundo.
You know, I just realized Mount is probably not the best uh, power-up to actually use because of uh, the fact that we are over a pit, pretty much. Oh, damn it. I got a few hits in, I guess. Okay. Whee! Oh, okay, I can swallow those. Maybe I could if I got closer, but it's fine. Yeah, I guess this guy is using the plasma, the plasma ability. Thought I could sneak by right there. Ooh, one more hit. One more hit. There we go. Give me my two spheres. Thank you and good night. I was not very cautious with health, because I knew I'd get that health pickup at the very end. It's like, eh, whatever, I'll take as much damage as I want. You're not the boss of me, game. And there we go. That level, I don't have to backtrack. Always good when that happens. This is probably going to be a one. Yep. I'm getting the one very consistently now, which is nice. So I should not be in danger of one-ups for the rest of this playthrough. Although it is kind of annoying they just keep getting taken away from me anyway. Okay, the 70 energy spheres you've collected have unlocked the door to the water challenge. Yeah, it seems like they've tried to use a lot of the uh, new abilities in the challenges, which I can understand. You know, trying to get those uh, new abilities right, so they probably included them more. Although, to be fair, we've only had Whip. We haven't had uh, the other two new ones, which I believe are Leaf and Spear, so... Oh, oh man, the wind. The wind is brutal. Also, if this was Kirby Triple Deluxe, uh, that would have given us uh, Archer power. Which I have to say, Archer is probably one of the cooler uh, new Kirby abilities in the series. Obviously, in terms of this game, it hasn't been introduced yet, but still. I really, I really do like Archer. Archer's fun. All we need now is for Kirby to have an axe, and then he's completed, like, the entire weapon uh, triangle, I guess. Or not really triangle, because it's obviously more than that. But, like, the Fire Emblem weapons. That'd be kind of cool. Oh my god. Everything is loud today. I don't know what it is. Things are loud outdoors. My parents are being loud in the other room. Loud, 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 loud. Okay. I have a feeling I missed something in that first room. I just don't like wind. <laughs> when is wind fun? I think during uh, Shadow Mario 41 X or Shadow Mario 41 XLI, uh, Shadow Mario 41 stream the other day, he was finishing up Donkey Kong Country 2, and uh, X and Shadow from Brain Scratch Comms was there, and he's like, "When is wind ever good in video games?" <laughs> and after thinking about it, like I was trying to think of another example, I'm like, you know, kind of have a point, <laughs> kind of have a point a little bit. Okay. 
Oh, so now we gotta see how fast we can move. Oh, what am I doing? Guess I can do this. Whee! There we go. Hooray. So you have a bit of a time to uh, get that guy in case you're running behind, but I got him. Ah! Let me free! I oh, know, I lost my I lost my Moundo power. How will I ever live? Well, I know, very easily. It's just Moundo. Okay. What do I do here? Oh. <laughs> Can I just grab this? <laughs> Can I use the beam to, like, attract a light that'll give me the energy sphere? Boom. Oh, that won't work. Oh, I guess it's gonna be one of those rooms. One of the... Ah! <laughs> I just, like, pole vaulted right into his mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. That was interesting. I just pole vaulted. If this was the Olympics, I'd probably get a really good score for doing that with such... Uh, beauty and finesse. <laughs> oh my god. Aren't, don't those things look dangerous? Duh! Duh! Oh, ow. Whatever. I'll just sneak by you guys. I really don't want to die. So I'll use you guys to get through this room. Yay, high jump! Whee! Whee! Now let's not go too far because I don't want to end up missing anything important. Which could very easily happen. Okay, so what do I. Oh, okay, I know what I have to do. Okay, I have to wait for this to. We There we go. What? Oh man, that's really The timing though. Oh, there we go. I just had to use that earlier, I feel like, like before I hit the ground. That was the trick there. But this, the, the thing I hate about those types of uh, puzzles... Or not, I wouldn't really call that a puzzle. That was more so just like having good reaction time to get through there. But the thing I hate about that is if I failed, I think I would have been stuck there. Which I don't like that aspect because, I mean... You should be able to try again if like you failed. And by fail, I mean like actually... Uh, Like, getting stuck inside the room with the other switch. Because, yeah, I mean, I did fail and I did get a try again. But in those scenarios, I still made it through the door so I could still try again. But, if, like, I was just, like, a little bit slow there. I wouldn't have been able to try that again, which I don't really like. Whoa, oh, hold on. Uh... That's a sneaky one. That was a very, very sneaky sphere. So very sneaky. My god. What did I do to deserve that? Okay, let's move on next level. We're definitely more than halfway through World 5 now. 
World 5 still going along swimmingly. Which is weird because we're in the sky. We're nowhere near the ground, but whatever. Oh, now we have Karibo Shoe. Karibo Shoe, the Kirby sequel. And I already lose it. Oh my god. Let me go back. Again, like, again, that timing just really gets to me. I really shouldn't let me bother... I, I really shouldn't let it bother me so much. And just kind of roll with it, and then I should be able... I should be fine, but... Yeah, like, right there! Like, why didn't the bounce happen there? Oh my god. This, sh this shoe is going to be the death of me. For some reason, I don't have the timing 100% there. Which really, really bothers me, because, my god, it's not that hard. And there it goes again. Every single time. Yeah, I definitely need it. Ah! Oh, and that wasn't even worth anything. Oh my god, that, that's what makes me even matter. It's like, that wasn't even worth anything that important. Okay, well, this will give us something. You see, at least, at least there, it doesn't really matter, because you don't have to do the super jump. You can just, like, float over to the frickin' prize. Yeah, I want Beam again. Beam's fun. Try this again. Let's try it again. Try it again because we wanted to. Ah! Grapes! Melons, oranges, and coconut shells. Oh, yeah. Okay. That wasn't a coconut shell. That wasn't anything at all. Stop losing my power. Oh, whatever. There might be something I'll need in a minute. And it's not Archer, because it doesn't exist yet. <laughs> I wonder if they added Archer just because of those guys. It's like, you know, we should add Archer. <laughs> That's what I think happened. They probably added just because of those enemies. Duh. How do I get through it here, though? Oh, up here. I didn't think it was that simple. Okay. Well, this looks interesting. So, yeah, I guess Nutty Noon is kind of the, like, uh, Sky World, quote-unquote. You know, we've seen more fire than we've seen ice. Let's get ice back up. Oh, no. What do we have? Oh, super bonkers. That's kind of cool. I swallowed that star. Ice is a ice is actually a pretty good boss killer in most Kirby games because it kind of creates projectiles that you can use to kick back at the boss. Oh my god! I can't move. God, why couldn't I move right there? I was like just stuck in bonkers hit frame. Oh my god, how did that miss? Seriously. How did that miss? Stop dodging my attacks. God, I almost died. At that point, I probably should have died, but whatever, I'll take it. Doom. Ah, oh, thank you, food! Thank you so much, I needed that. I 
didn't mean for that to take three times to hit, but whatever. using the power up. I'll use it when I'm good and ready for it. Wish I didn't have to shake the Wiimote though. <laughs> Again, everyone's like telling me in the comments section, oh you should use shake the Wiimote, it's easier, it's faster, it's like, it's not. <laughs> not for me. <laughs> Maybe for you guys who grow grew up on motion controls, but my god, it's not easy. I don't think it is. It's because it's like I, I think I figured out what it is, like, between me and motion controls. It's not that necessarily the motion controls are bad, because they're definitely not. They're not bad at all. It's just the fact that like I've grew up knowing that like whenever I have a video game controller, the buttons are what do something. Not like the controller itself. I don't like... Like, if I want Mario to jump, I press the, like, A button or B button. I don't, like, press the... Or I don't shake the Super NES controller around. And it's, like, two different mindsets. It's, like, using buttons against not using buttons. And that's what kind of gets me and confuses me. Maybe not confuses me, but, you know, it's... It's hard to shift from one mindset to the other. It's like my hands, my hands are used to like pressing a button with the fingers. It's not used to like shaking wildly to get something to happen. If that makes sense. I think it, I think it does. And honestly, that's probably all that's important. Then all the people in the comment section go, Slim, that doesn't make sense at all. What are you talking about? <laughs> that honestly, I would not be surprised if that happened too. Okay, so this is the Tetris section of this level. I'm just gonna skip past it as much as possible. I mean, I love a good game of Tetris as much as the next person, but... I didn't put Tetris into my Wii console, so... Or, well, I guess I'm playing on Wii U, but... Shoot. Wii! Thank God for the slide. <clears throat> Thank God for more Tetris, apparently. So what power-ups are we going to get now? We're going to get Whip and Spear. Uh, I haven't seen Whip in a while. Cowboy Kirby. Indiana Jones Kirby. So much for Indiana Jones Kirby. Uh, it is kind of interesting how they, like, change the arena a little bit each time. It kind of reminds me of Mario 3 a little bit, whenever you'd fight Boom Boom. Because he'd, he'd, be, he'd pretty much be fighting the same boss, like, every single time. But, like, the arena would change, so it's like, you know, there's more of a challenge each time. Which I think is interesting. It made what is normally a very, like, not fun boss, because, again, it's so freaking boring and repetitive. And it's something that's at least a little interesting, because it's like, oh, okay, there's a different atmosphere. Come on! I had him right there, too. That sucks. But, yeah, there was, like, a different, different atmosphere to him, at least. Do I have to go through that entire section again? Oh, my God. Cut. Got him! Oh my god, that was a lot easier with it. with whip. I shouldn't have lost that the first time. Oh my god. Ugh, well that was annoying. <laughs> to say the least. Guess it could have been worse. I could have done the whole level again. Which some games probably would have done that. I mean let's let's take a look at Donkey Kong Country uh, Tropical Freeze and Returns. 
Whenever you failed a bonus game, you either had to die and go back to the midpoint, or just do the whole level again. Like, you couldn't redo a bonus level. At least Kirby actually had the kindness to allow me to try again after that little fumble. And there we go again. Number one. Maybe it's just implying that Kirby is number one. Maybe that's what this all means. What if this entire game was just a giant, like, hidden message that Kirby is the all-time greatest and he will steal your soul if you're not careful?